to uh, another episode of City Family Church in the studio. Yeah, that's and right. This is um, uh, another um, episode in our series uh, called Dipping into Daniel. And um, as you know from previous episodes, this isn't a full ep exposition of uh, the book of Daniel, but we are dipping in to the book to bring out some uh, some truths and some things that are, are relevant to, uh, to us uh, in our day that we can apply to our lives. So um, uh, I have with me uh, today uh, Apostle uh, Sam Gamby um, in the studio and um, we're going to get into uh, a few uh, uh, a few discussions on this um, uh, on this uh, chapter four of um, the book of Daniel and the title uh, of this uh, this episode is we must know that God is the most high so uh, welcome to the the studio Apostle Sam Thanks it's so great much. to have you here again yeah absolutely uh, and, uh, <laughs> we, we really enjoy these uh, these uh, we discussions. do we do uh, I, I'm looking so forward to them um, the, the ones that we've done so far uh, they, they've been very blessing and uh, I believe that uh, you know you're being blessed as well as you watch these we uh, um, you can find them actually on our our website as well as our YouTube channel and uh, and and uh, and as well as uh, uh, our Facebook so um, they, they they come on um, um, uh, around the weekend uh, you know so please um, you know you, we invite you to um, uh, to follow uh, us through these uh, institute discussion and yes uh, today <laughs> yes I'm excited to be here and uh, to um, you know just look at um, you know the chapter four of the book of uh, of, of Daniel and um, yeah I know that uh, you know you've been looking into this book yes you know you, yes. you've looked at chapter one uh, two and three and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you've picked out some uh, uh, key things from there and, yes. and basically that's what uh, this is all about you know it's a very we know the book of Daniel is is, is packed with a lot of stuff uh, but and, and in this studio really we are here to unpack everything but we just want to look at some things that stick out like today in chapter 4 we are looking at uh, you know this you know theme of we must know that God is the most high and how did King Katneza for example get to know this you know but similarly Teacher Andy, you, you, you have looked at chapter 1, chapter 2, and chapter 3, yeah. and there are some things that you can, in one sentence, in one word, you can summarize from those chapters. Oh, well, um, well, we, we can say that um, uh, the, um, the, uh, the, the people of Israel, they didn't mm -hmm. obey God, mm -hmm. and um, what he told them, what he told them, uh, uh, in his law and through his prophets mm -hmm. uh, that he, he, he repeatedly sent to them uh, he had to do which was send them into exile mm. uh, but even in exile um, people kept their faith mm. and uh, we see in chapters 1 to 3 that people didn't compromise mm. um, they uh, they were given abilities by God because they still maintain their relationship and their faith mm. with God and uh, they wouldn't compromise on certain things mm. that was tested and God was there with them in the testing uh, so that's what we see in those those three chapters and what we also see is that uh, uh, promotion comes from the Lord amen so amen. He, he they go through the trial he's in that trial with them and they get promoted and promotion comes from the Lord so that's a basic little mm. uh, potted thing of the the last three episodes um that that will be uh that, that you'll you'll see mm. and, so and, um and and um and, and compromise is a big thing oh you know yeah. listen walk with god absolutely and and there are many many situations that that, uh, mm. that come in uh, in our lives um and some of it is very subtle uh that we can compromise uh, we mm. can compromise our faith and um 
it may not be a, an overly dramatic thing. Mm. It may be something very small, but in that we make a choice. That's right. To go God's way mm -hmm. and retain our faith or to compromise with what's being presented to us. That's right. And, 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 and the sad thing as well is about compromise is that it affects our testimony. Oh, sure. To, to the people around us. Yes. Just as we saw, you know, with Daniel, the fact that they, they did compromise <laughs> and, uh, and uh, uh, Shadrach. Yes. It, it became a big testimony. Oh, what? Yeah, what to, they... to the king. Yeah, it, it, the... it was the basis of whatever else we're yeah. going to see. Yeah, yeah, in the book yeah. of Daniel, what the, happened to the uh, I'll tell you, those those three Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Uh, I mean, they 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 just would not compromise. They 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 knew the law of God. That's right. That um, the the first two commandments, for example. Um, God is God, and, and they sh you shall have no other God beside me. And then the second commandment is about mm. not making idols and bowing That's down right. to them. That's right. Now here's Nebuchadnezzar, mm. Mm. makes this idol, mm. and commands everybody to bow down. And if they okay. don't, they'll be thrown into a fiery furnace. Exactly. They didn't compromise. That's right. Uh, and uh, what happened? They were thrown into the fiery furnace. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and which which God, they, they could see. It they was could not, see. It was not an imaginary furnace. No. It was right there. It was black and white. Yeah, in you, fact. You compromise, you avoid it. You yeah. don't compromise, the furnace was being heated. It was heated up even hotter. And, yeah. and in fact, they saw some, some the men that bound them, uh, who uh, bound them in, in whatever bindings, that, that when they opened the furnace, there must have been some outrushing of heat or gas or something like that, yeah. that consumed these men. Yes. And um, the, they saw this, mm -hmm. yet they still didn't compromise. Yeah. They still didn't say, well, now we're going to change our minds. No, no. They, they stuck with what That's they... Right. They knew they wouldn't compromise mm. the, the, what the law had said. That's right. Com the first and second commandment. Mm. And they, they, they challenged the king and they said, look, our God... Mm. Because um, the Babylonians, they had many gods. That's right. Um, and they knew Yahweh mm. as a god of That's the right. Hebrews. Yes, right. So they, the, so, so they challenged them and said, look, our God is able to save us from your hand. But even if he doesn't, yes, right. we're still not going to compromise. That's right. And the thing is, God didn't step in there and then. That's right. They were actually thrown into the furnace. <laughs> 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 they, they were experienced exactly. the furnace, yes. but because of their experience of the furnace, and God sending his, the angel of the Lord into the furnace with them, yeah. it became this massive testimony. Praise God. For yes. when Nebuchadnezzar eventually called them out, mm -hmm. everybody gathered around, all the yeah. magicians and the yeah. wise yeah. men and the yeah. sorcerers, and they, they could see the God of Israel, Yahweh, how he saved them, the, not a, a hair was singed or there was ne not even a smell mm. of, of smoke. Mm. Uh, and that is a real, real benefit That's of right. not compromising. That's right. Because mm. others see yes. your faith. Your faith. Others get to see your faith. And from that, they learned themselves, Sh Daniel from his yeah. trial, yeah. and then Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego yeah. from their trial... They, um, they've learned something about themselves and they've learned something about their God. Exactly. And that has built faith in them Yes. for the next thing yes. that they're going to progress through. But mm. um, today we're not looking at them, yeah. but that, that's, just, that's just what's yeah. happened to them. Today, today we're looking at um, Nebuchadnezzar. Now Nebuchadnezzar has... Mm. Seen all of that. That's right. Stuff. Um, but he now has his own experience mm -hmm. with Yahweh, yeah. the God of the of the of the uh, of Israel. Uh, and this this chapter four is um, is him writing a letter. That's right. He he writes this letter. I mean, that's the the whole of this chapter. Mm. He writes this letter to all his his realm. I mean, he, at the time he was the most powerful king on earth very powerful um, 
and he had all these different uh, nations under his rule, all of these different tongues and languages, they, they were all under his uh, control. Mm. Um, but he's seen these things with, yes, right. with the God of Israel. Now mm. it's his turn to yeah. experience this. And, and after he's had this experience, he writes this letter to go out to all of these people. That's right. Um, so that's basically what this he, 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 he felt very he felt the power he felt that he knew he was a very powerful man oh I mean you can even see the way he writes a letter he there's that that proud the pomp himself yes he's not just writing the letter to, <laughs> yeah. to, to you know the message he's writing to the entire world yes he, yeah because he says to all <laughs> to, people to all nations, people languages yes that dwell in all the earth can we imagine that yeah, the, to all these people, he, he is just the king. The king. Yeah. He's the man. Yes. <laughs> Very powerful. He shows his power. And, uh, uh, and, and it's interesting as well that I think because of uh, you know, what he's experienced and seen, you see, when he begins to write this letter, that uh, there's some bit of an acknowledgement of, of God. Oh, yes. You know, yeah. almost like like a praise. Yes. You know, you know, it, 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 we, we know that there is, you know, is mixing things a little bit with the, you know, the gods and the gods. But you can see there is an acknowledgement of yeah. God here. Yes. Yeah. He uh, There's an awareness. The, yeah. Yeah. He he has seen this God at work. That's right. And he can't deny that. Yeah. He he has especially in the fiery furnace episode. Mm. He can't deny yes, right. this God of the Hebrews. Mm. In fact, he, 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 he makes a statement in that, um, in that uh, incident to say, look, don't talk bad against this God. Yeah. You, 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 don't, you don't take his name and, and, and use it badly. That's right. But in this, in this experience, um, so, 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 he, so from those experiences, he gains some knowledge mm -hmm. of God. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a kind of um, it's a kind of knowledge that isn't um, deep. Yes, and um, he acknowledges this God, but it's not his own God. Okay, now, now you see it's that not it, a personal experience. It's not a personal yet. God. He doesn't own him yet. That's we right. see that in verse eight in chapter four. That's right. Because it says, um, "At last, Daniel came in before me." Mm -hmm. Who, he who was named Belshazzar, mm -hmm. after the name of my God. Mm -hmm. See, after the name of my God. See, see, he's, he's, he still doesn't have God as God. Yes. He still has this other God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so he, ha he has some kind of experience of God among gods. Yes. But not exactly. owning him as his God. Yet. Exactly. And, and, and I think that's very interesting, Sandy, because... You could see from the confessions of Misha Kabenu and Shadrach, because they always said, "Our God will deliver us." Yes. So, so even even though uh, um, you know the king saw that in his mind, it oh, this is spectacular. This is really impressive. But yeah, that's their God. That's their God. Yeah, that's their God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And is and is and is their God any better than our God? Yes. Because we have our gods. Yeah. yeah. Their God is powerful. Yeah. We yeah. can't. We can't. Uh, deny that, but yeah, yeah. Um, he's, he's not our God. Yeah, literally, did he know that he was being set up for his own experience now? <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. and that experience is uh, is a dream. Yes, that's <laughs> right. And this dream is is so prophetic. It's a prophetic dream, and uh, um, and he's deeply troubled by it. Yeah. Um, because he he understands and and he acknowledges the fact that um, this is not just a kind of I don't know he's had a bad meal and he he goes to bed and he's he has some kind of bad dream yeah he he knows that this is a profound dream yes and he needs some kind of interpretation that's right uh, uh, from it yeah yeah exactly in fact when when I was doing some some um, some notes here you know. It, in, in verse five, for example, uh, you know it's, it says, uh, "I I saw this dream. It made me fearful." Mm. Now, th 
th this is the man who is this king of the world. Yes. He's a power king. It's the first time we we are seeing him express fear. Yeah. He was bewildered by the, the furnace experience. Yes. He, he was really yeah. uh he said, Wow, this is really impressive. But it didn't make him fearful. No. This is the first time. This dream, something in this dream makes him fear. That's right, he does. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That there is some kind of feeling inside of him that perplexes him. Yes. And and like you say, this is not like a, an experience that he's he, that he understands, and it gives him fear. Yeah, and he he he, he needs to know he what needs, this is yeah. all about. And you could see immediately, he didn't waste time. No, he, he starts seeking for yeah interpretation. That's right, and yeah. and, he, and and if you notice, he doesn't use that same uh, that same um, mechanism that he used before, where he called the magicians and the the uh, enchanters and the wise men. Uh, and, and and gets them to tell him the dream and and and, and tries to find out um, politically yeah. that they're not manipulating him. This yeah. time, yeah. he he just comes out with the dream. That's right. Uh, and because he's so desperate to know what mm -hmm. it means, mm -hmm. yes. and um, so he summons all of these magicians and and uh, these uh, these um, uh, enchanters and Chaldeans yeah. yes. and astrologers, yeah. and they all come in. And he tells them the dream, yeah. um, but they can't give him the interpretation of the dream mm -hmm. because they 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 don't they're not um, they're not given that. That's right. And he re but he remembers. Yeah, yeah. When he remembers about Daniel. Exactly. And and one thing about this as well is that you know the fact that they failed to interpret the dream to him. He sends the message. He he learns one lesson here. Because he knew the powers these people were using. Yes. And right here, the enemy is exposed. Satan is exposed. Yes. That his powers, are, yeah, they don't deliver. They are limited. That's right. <laughs> yeah. This is this is the thing. If if God chooses to reveal something, he yeah. will. Um. But the devil can't know the mind of God. Mm. He he uh, the, some it's a strange thing that that some people they seem to give the devil too much um uh, that's right uh, attention and mm. too much power yeah yeah uh, he yeah. is everywhere and he knows everything and he's involved in everything mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah the devil is just one being yes i i know he has uh, he has uh, spiritual forces and he has uh, a certain amount of uh, authority and he has beings but the thing is he's not god that's right. And he's not the angels of God. Mm, mm, and mm. Um, his people, like these astrologers and these enchanters mm, and all these mm. people, they can't deal with certain yeah, things. That's right. Because this dream has come from a mm -hmm. source, mm -hmm. and that source is God. Mm -hmm. Because God is telling mm -hmm. about, uh, this is a prophetic dream, God is telling about events yeah. to come. Yes, right. And and, and, and and these people and, and isn't the order interesting here as well, Chandi? Because um he is um talking about the fact that first of all he calls these wise men yeah. to come in. He didn't go for Daniel first. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> he goes for the wise men first. Yes. This is a setup of God. Yeah. To to, to prove himself. Because if I just called Daniel to go in first and Daniel interprets yeah. the dream, there would be been that other thing that would yeah. have been missed from his experience as a king. Yes. So the first experience was to see the failure. Yes. He has to see that they can't. They can't do it. Yeah. Yeah. And then, but then Daniel sh shows up. Yes. And he just has it all there. Yeah. It, it's just he tells him that, that he, he hears this dream and mm -hmm. he just gives him the interpretation. Yeah. Like that. No just problem. like that. <laughs> and and and. Uh, it, it, it is interesting. Did you notice one thing in verse 9? How, how King Nebuchadnezzar now addresses Daniel. There's one word in there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I, I like that. Yes. 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 Chief. <laughs> oh, Belshazzar, chief of the magicians. Master. Yes. Master. Chief. 
You're the boss. Are you the boss? Yeah, you're over them now. <laughs> yeah. Whereas before, uh, yeah. before you, you, before you were a captive from Israel. Yeah. You were brought here. You knew nothing. You had to have three years of training, and then uh, through some circumstances, you you were uh, in, into, into an elevated position. Yeah. But now, <laughs> now you're chief. You're chief. Now you're master. <laughs> you're master of them. So uh. <laughs> he's brought in these. <laughs> these enchanters and magicians first, that's right, that's and right. then oh, they can't do it. <laughs> so what does he do? Yeah. He has to get the master in. Yes, he has to bring the chief. The chief. Yes, to <laughs> deal with the problem. <laughs> yes, uh, that's and, that's and, that's and, that's and he acknowledges in 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 this verse nine, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. He acknowledges. He acknowledges. He says, um, because I know that mm. the spirit of the holy gods is in you. Uh, and that no mystery is too difficult for you. Mm. So, I mean, he uses the, the, the small g in gods. Mm. So he, has, he is aware that, that, that Daniel has uh, connections, mm. um, but he's still not acknowledging um, yes. God the Most High. That's right. It's, That's right. You have a spirit yes, right. yes. That, can, that can get into uh, the, these kinds of... Um, uh, spiritual realms mm, and, mm. and find out mysteries that's right and and, the, and he says that no mystery is too difficult for you mm -hmm. but it's still a small g yes a spirit of these these yeah. these gods yeah. yes exactly you, you have a power mm -hmm. in other words mm -hmm. and that's why also why you're your chief of these uh these enchanters but mm -hmm. um is still not there yet because he hasn't right. had the experience and and i also noticed this i mean I wonder why he included holy gods. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I, I know he's, he's, still, he's still not quite, you know, he's been brought to the place where, you know, he has an understanding. But he says the holy gods. Yes. So there's that aspect of... Uh, mm, yeah, there's a separation, there's between, separation here. between the human and the supernatural. And the supernatural. Yeah, yeah. so he's, he is giving them an elevated status. Yes, yes. But they're still small yeah. g. Yes. They're like multitudes of gods. It's like in India, yeah. a, a, a lot of Indians, they have, they have thousands of gods. That's right. And they're, they're all kind of different from each other, but they, 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 they're not, um, the God, not God most high. Mm. So that's... The equivalent to was mm. what was happening in Babylon. There mm. is all of these gods. Mm. So as as you can see, you can see you know viewers here. You know we we are, we are looking at. We must know that God is the Most High, and you can see already from uh, what we've discussed that there's a process here that Nebuchadnezzar is going through towards knowing who is God yeah. and the Most High. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and this is this is just something that human beings mm. of all status, of all position, right. mm. have to come to in the end. Exactly. They, we all have to come to this mm. in the end. That's right. Wow. Well, we 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 move on now, and and and, and Daniel is interpreted the dream and. Uh, and and uh, the the king is uh, obviously very touched by this um, that this dream that was very you know brought fear to him you know he, he now is is getting some understanding of yes. what what it means yes and and the dream is about him and his kingdom yes and 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 um, Daniel's a bit fearful about actually giving the, this to him because uh, he says in um, it says in verse 19, Then Daniel, whose name was Belshazzar, mm -hmm. uh, was dismayed for a while, and his thoughts alarmed him. And the king answered and said, Belshazzar, let not the dream or the interpretation alarm you. Um, Belshazzar answered and said, My lord, may the dream be for those who hate you and its interpretation for your enemies. Uh, the tree, uh, and he goes on to describe all of mm. these other mm. things. And he says in verse 22, it is you. Mm. The, dream is, <laughs> the dream is all about you. Yeah, exactly. All of these things that are going to happen, it's all about Amen. you. Amen. Amen. And that's it's quite disturbing to him. Yes, right. Um, but the, the truth is the truth. 
That's right. If if God's given a prophetic dream, mm. or if give if God gives a word, um, however likable or unlikable it is. Yes. If it's a word of truth. Yes. It is the truth. Yes. And uh, that's yeah. what happened with him. Exactly. And and and, and Daniel, uh, you know, gets discouraged. Which comes upon him. Yes. You know, he's, he's, you know, the spirit of courage comes upon him. Yeah. And and he he, he says, "Oh, King, this uh, uh, this this dream is about you." Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that can only be, you know, uh, you know, the work of God. Absolutely. And, and this is what happens to us as well, if we are ready to not compromise the word yeah. of God. Yeah. And, and, and give it the way he has given it to us. No take away, not add to it. And, and, and uh, uh, you know, God backs us up. Yes. Because the Bible says that he watches over his word. He backs his word He up. does. And imagine saying this. This is the most powerful man on earth. Yes. And he's saying this, all of this stuff that I'm, that's in your dream, yeah. uh, on all my interpretation about it, is you. Yes. And and and, you, and and then he goes on. <laughs> I mean, the, the the actual the interpretation of it mm. is is just awful. Yeah, you know what the 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 things that are going to happen to this king, uh, the interpretation uh, and so this courage yeah. that has risen up in him yeah. to tell this most powerful man on earth yeah. that all of these awful things are going to happen. Th this is. Something only that God can give, if there's mm. no uh, spirit of compromise in a person. E e exactly, and um, you know, you know, um, Daniel himself, uh, Andy, is um, well. He's a different prophet. Daniel is a different prophet. He's different from the prophets of. That says the Lord. That says the Lord. Mm. He is a prophet that God is using through dreams. Yes. So that means you are the carrier of. Either good news. <laughs> it's it's one thing it's one thing to to say to people that says the Lord because you are leaving it unto the Lord. Yes. You are simply saying, ah, ah, you know, that says the Lord. But here, you know, tell me what the dream means. <laughs> yes, an, a, an apostle. That's the kind of the prophet he was. Oh, an, an the pressure is high. Apostle Sam, that that is the supreme pressure. Yes. Because you are the carrier of the answer. <laughs> yeah. You're not leaving it to the says yeah. the Lord and then the Lord deals with it. Yeah. Yeah. You are dealing with it. Yes. Because you're the one you're the carrier apostle. If you have that dream and then you have the interpretation of it. Exactly. Dream, then it's you that has to Exactly. Deal with it. Exactly. And you have to deliver that. Yes. And that takes some courage. It takes some courage. And and we we also got to, you know, be aware here that Daniel is already aware from the way the king has presented the dream that the king knows that this dream is not is not a good dream. It's not a pleasant thing. No, <laughs> he is frightened. It's a fright. It's a frightened. Yeah. And 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 somehow God just gives Daniel this wisdom. Yeah. This wisdom. To first of all, comfort the king. Yes. <laughs> Before it's an amazing skill yeah in his gift of uh, you know interpreting the dreams yeah how he first of all uh, comforts or encourages the king rather calms him down and then he, the king also tells okay, Daniel come on go on and, yeah. and say it yeah and then he, he, he releases the words so there's no compromise in there Daniel still did his, the dream interpretation as the Lord gave him yes and um, the, this is this is how we're meant to be um, with the gospel. That's right. Uh, with the message that the Lord has given us mm. in his word, without compromise, mm. but skillfully delivered. That's right. This, we see this in the life of the Apostle Paul, mm. that he became, uh, to the fool he became a fool, to the wise man he became a wise right. man, yeah. to a Greek he became a Greek, to the Jew he became mm. a Jew. So, so he... He, um, uh, he 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 molded himself mm. um, to deliver the yeah. same message 
but in different ways that would be palatable. Mm. But mm. it's the same message without mm. compromise. That's right, yeah. Delivered skillfully. Yeah. And that's how we're to be um, with the Word of God. We deliver this Word with skill. That's right. Um, to, the, uh, to the recipients. Mm. Mm. Because um, saying one thing to one person may really antagonize them. That's right. But if you say that in the same way to somebody else, it will be completely acceptable. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So, so in, in terms of evangelism, it's not like just one size fits all. No. We no, have to not. be sensitive to the Spirit. Exactly. We have and to. led by the Spirit. Yes. When, we, when we're speaking, yeah. um, look at, look at um, I don't know, with, with, with work colleagues, people that you spend a long time with. Yeah. Yes. Your witness is different yes. to your somebody yes. that you would yes. meet uh, uh, sitting on a bus or, or on a train or, mm. or, or, or um, uh, on a plane journey. Yes, right. You're only there for a few hours or, 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 or a short time. Mm. That's a completely different kind of witness. Mm. It's the same gospel, mm. exactly. But it's delivered in a different way. Now, that's right. now that's the same skill that Daniel has. Mm -hmm. um, the different kind of uh, prophet mm. from Jeremiah or or, or Isaiah who exactly. who would deliver a different kind and, and sort of like Amos. I mean, you read the <laughs> exactly the prophet Amos. It makes your hair curl. Mm. The things he says to Israel, it's like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. Amen. And, and we see, like, uh, we, we're moving towards verse 27, we, which has something quite uh, uh, um, significant there. But we see that like, in verse 22, uh, Daniel begins to interpret the dream, and, 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 and the king is a little bit happier yeah. by some of the things that he hears in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to, to, to start with. You know, uh, you know, he says that it is you, O king, for you have become great, grown strong. Your majesty has become great and reached to the sky and your dominion to the end of the earth. That, yeah, that, 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 yeah, I mean, that's a really, that, that, that's, a, that's a statement of fact. Yeah. And it's really building up. Yes. So this would bring comfort yes. to him. To him. Th this would make him feel, yeah. ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> but then he goes on then. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah. It goes a bit downhill from there. Um, this, uh, the interpretation. Mm. Um, see, God, God, uh, God, through Daniel, acknowledges that this man has been raised up to be powerful. That's right. A powerful mm. king. Mm. Mm. But mm. people mm. in authority, people mm. in power, are given that for a reason. And God mm. wants um, good rulers mm. on the earth. And mm. I mean, this is why in, in, the, the Apostle Paul writes to Timothy to say, look, you know, we must pray for... Mm. for um, uh, rulers pray for Caesar, pray for kings. That's right. Uh, and I mean, um, uh, in 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 Romans chapter thirteen, it talks about uh, being submitting, submissive to rulers. Mm. And I mean, at that time, you've got um, Nero on the on on the throne. He's a terrible. Yes. Caesars. Yeah. Awful persecutor. Mm. But we're being told to obey. That's right. And uh, pray for. Yes. Uh, uh, these people because they're in positions of power and God wants them to rule yes. justly and righteously. That's right. That's they right. need help. Mm. I, I mean, mm. some some uh, some rulers they have such difficult jobs. Mm. I mean, who who would be uh, some of these people mm. uh, when you see the the, the complexities mm. that mm. they have to deal with? But in verse twenty seven. That's right. In in verse twenty seven. It talks that, therefore, O king, let my counsel be acceptable to you. Break off your sins mm. by practicing righteousness. That's right. And all and your iniquities by showing mercy to the oppressed, mm. that there may perhaps be a lengthening of your prosperity. So you see there that that there are issues. That's right. With his reign, mm. that God is concerned about. Yes. God in, wants this. In, in fact, Daniel puts this that very clearly now in a very firm way. Uh, you know, uh, in verse twenty-four. You know, because after twenty-three, he's told him that this is what is happening now. 
And then in verse 24 now, boom. Yes. He says it. He says, this is the interpretation, O king. And this is the decree of the most high. Yes. Which is come upon my lord the king. Yes. Daniel has said it. Yeah. There are two kings here. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> there are two kings here. There's a king, my king, that I'm standing before right now and giving this interpretation. But there is the most high king. Yes. And this which is in this dream has come from the most high king upon you. Yes. And then from there. Then from there, the reasoning, <laughs> the rationale is these are the reasons why. Why? Your, your rule and reign yes. is not according to my... Um, my standards of a king, That's right. of such a powerful person. That's right. Because we have this, this in twenty seven. Mm -hmm. um, these words: sin, uh, practicing, um, you, you're not practicing righteousness. That's right. You, 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 you talks about iniquities, iniquities. showing mercy, mercy to the, the oppressed, mm -hmm. um, uh, and and it talks about you know that if you do these things, perhaps there may be a lengthening of your prosperity. That's right. But does this happen? Does this actually happen? Does the, the, the question is, does King Nebuchadnezzar yeah. um, actually take this to heart and change his ways? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. uh, I, I think what we we, uh, we I think what we find is in verse 28 and 29, oh dear. Yeah. He didn't listen. He didn't listen. He didn't listen. And, and, and God actually gives him time. Yeah. You know, God, 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 God is, God is. Um, he, he could have released his judgment. Yeah. On on King Nebuchadnezzar, he's the Most High God. You know, he he he, he, he could he could have done yeah. everything, but he, he gives him chance. Yes. He did not die. He says you're gonna live unto it, so you could have the chance to change your ways. Yeah. He 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 gives him forewarning of the standards that he requires. Uh, and that he he is found him to be falling below the standards. That's and right. If he, re, if he re, remedies his ways, that's right. Then his prosperity mm -hmm. may be lengthened. That's right. But unfortunately, verse twenty-eight and twenty-nine, he, 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 he doesn't show any repentance at all. He is not. He, I mean, yeah. even the severity, the the, the accuracy yeah. and the severity of what is told him. He has not taken to heart. Exactly. Exactly. And 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 that, to me, that is also uh, can also be a warning to yeah. us. That's right. As 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 Christians in the twenty first mm. century, mm. the thing is, God speaks to us through mm -hmm. His Word. That's right. And there are many many uh, words of encouragement uh, in His Word, but there are also words of warning. That's right. That's right. There are there are word there are words Absolutely. in His Word. There, there mm. are. There are standards That's right. in His Word mm. that require us to repent mm. and be humble. That's right. That's right. Otherwise, mm. things may not happen mm. or may be delayed. Mm. They may be consequences. That's right. Mm. So, so this is this is uh, this is His situation, King mm. Nebuchadnezzar. It says twenty-eight, verse twenty-eight. All this came upon King Nebuchadnezzar. Mm. And at the end of 12 months, he was walking on the roof of the royal palace of Babylon. And the king answered and said, Is not this great Babylon, which I have built by mm. my mighty power mm. as a royal residence mm. and for mm. the glory of my majesty? While the words were still in the king's mouth, there fell a voice from heaven. Mm. Mm. O King Nebuchadnezzar, mm. to you it is spoken. The kingdom has departed from you, and you shall be driven away from among men. And, and then what happens mm. is verse after verse after verse mm. there, it is God fulfilling his word that he's mm. giving him that's right. word for word. word. God, and that's the thing about God. Mm. If God gives a word, he always fulfills his word. That's because right. as you said earlier, mm. Apostle, um, he watches over his word. He watches over his word. That's right. He does. He watches over his word. And in that dream, 
there, there is a sequence of events there um, and the, interpreta the interpretation there's a sequence of events mm. and it's fulfilled word for word. That's right. That's right. And, and uh, you know, I, you see, uh, you know, yeah, but there, is, there, is, there are things that, as Teacher Hunter said, that we can learn uh, from and apply, you know, in our own lives here. One key thing is that God's word is infallible. It never fails. It is perfect. And God is gracious. He brings a warning to us in the areas where he wants us to change when he's displeased with us. And he gives us time, a chance to change. Nebuchadnezzar was given uh, two things to, to, he, he needed to do. Two simple things. One, to repent. And second, to walk in that repentance, in that righteousness. And he walked away from uh, all this, you know, thinking it will not come to pass. Yeah. <laughs> and, 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 that, and that was, in fact, in 12 months. 12 months. Because we see that in verse 29. 12 months yeah. he had to, to, to do that. To make good. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. he failed to do it. He failed to do it. And exactly word by word, what the Lord had said, what the Most High had said, came to pass. Yeah. Because he is sovereign. He is the Most High. Yeah. Hmm. Wow. So, so, God puts Nebuchadnezzar through this. Hmm. This whole experience. And it's all for a purpose. Mm. God never does anything randomly or by chance or uh, mm. lets things happen just because mm. they happen. God is purposeful. Mm. In everything he does, there mm. is always a purpose. That's right. And, and God has plans for this king. Mm. This, this king is a mighty king. Mm. So he has to put him through That's right. this experience, mm. Mm. but there is purpose in it. That's right. That's right. That's right. And we see the, the, the judgment is um, uh, it's just awful. Yeah. He's lost his mind. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's uh, you know, we, we, we would call it mental illness, oh, maybe, but, uh, you know, yeah. of some sort. Yeah, I mean, he's, uh, driven, this is a king. he's driven away from, from, from human yes. uh, company, he's, he's driven away from uh, his, 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 his rule and authority, mm. his mm. realm, mm. Uh, and he becomes like an animal, mm. like a mental case. Like, That's right. Um, uh, I mean, I, I've, worked in, um, I've worked in a mental... Um, uh, hospital um, in, a, in acute, an acute psychiatric unit mm, and I've mm. seen um, acute florid mental cases uh, mm. close up mm. and it is very very uh, awful that's right to see and and the first time I ever uh, read this after mm. having spent time in, in, in that secure unit that I, I'd worked in mm. uh, and I'd read this chapter here I'd I'd seen people like this. Mm. I'd seen people in such a dire and extreme case like this. So this isn't some kind of fable or story no, or, no. Or, or fantasy or, or some the, kind the, of made up this, uh, this moral tale to no. teach us something. These things are real. real. Uh, I, mean, I mean, this thing mm. about his his hair growing long and mm. his his nails. Uh, I mean. Uh, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go into some of the things that I've seen in in the mental, uh, in the mental health ward. Mm. But there are there are some sad, sad cases. And 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 here's the thing. He's driven away from society. Right. This king. That's okay. Right. Mm. One of the one of the the most sad things for me when I worked there, was that um, people who were there had very 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 few visitors. Mm. Okay. People who are in a medical ward or a surgical ward, you mm. know, somebody's had some kind of operation mm. or a broken leg or they've had mm. some cardiac um, surgery or something like that, 
there are visitors upon visitors upon visitors. Yeah, mm. yeah. As a nurse, you have to turn some away. You know, mm. so visiting mm. time That's is right. over. You know, and all right. this, but not in the psychiatric. Mm. They have they are very very lonely people, mm. and they 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 are they are driven away from society. Mm. This is real. This this guy here is driven away from That's from right. his rule yeah. and reign yeah. and from mm. the people he knows, mm. and he's out there. Mm. In mm. the fields. Mm. Mm. And but and God. But God. That's but right. God the Most mm. High mm. Mm. puts him through this experience mm. and for a purpose. Mm. God isn't cruel. That's right. That's right. And mm. he's not vengeful and he's not wrathful. Mm. He is acting according to mm. a purpose. Mm. That he has to work out with this That's right. high and powerful man that he's already spoken mm. to mm. and given ample opportunity That's right. for him to That's comply. Right. Mm. About, um, I just think about imagine imagine apostle if this guy, okay, Daniel mm. comes to him and explains all of this stuff to him and he goes he falls on his knees That's and right. he says oh God, yeah. oh God yeah. help me. Yeah. And, 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 and asks for guided <laughs> repentance and then walks in that. I mean, it, it, it would be a completely different outcome. Mm, mm. This purpose, <laughs> this experience would never have occurred for this king. Yeah. But it's, but it's, it's there, isn't it? It is there. It is God there. Yeah. is not vengeful yeah, right. and harsh. Mm. He tells him, look, yeah. I, I find things wanting with you. Yes. Um, I find things wanting with you. I want change. Yes. And I'm giving you time. And, yes. and he actually gives him 12 months. Yes. But it doesn't come yeah. about. Yeah. And, and, uh, and, and for a king who was so powerful for all these years, these 12 months becomes the most miserable oh. of all his greatness. Yes. All his greatness. Yeah. It was avoidable. Yeah, had he listened. Because in the first place, that's the reason why God sent the prophet to him. And and, and God does these things to us. God is love. God, uh, you know, uh, you know, his, his, his righteous uh, judgment is, 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 is just and, uh, and, and fair. And by his grace, he gives um, all of us, you know, uh, you know time. He, he, he sends uh, the word to us. And uh, but God is 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 in His nature. He's a just God. Yes. And 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 when um, disobedience is, is 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 committed, it has consequences. Yes. Yeah. So, some uh, uh, sometimes sometimes what happens with people? They have giftings. They have a calling. Mm. And they have heavy anointings. That's right. And things happen mm. god in his gracious mercy and, and he, with his great patience he he gives instruction he gives guidance he mm. gives words that's um, right and if there is no repentance sometimes what happens with these people is they're like a book mm. that gets put on the shelf mm. that they they can't be used anymore mm. Mm. Yeah, they haven't lost their mm. salvation. They haven't mm. lost. Um, they haven't lost things, but there is, there is a a, a redundancy. Mm. There is a lack of fruitfulness mm. or growth or use mm. or usability. Um, That's right. I mean, in the in the um, in the pastoral letters where where um, where the apostle Paul writes to uh, Timothy and he writes to Titus. He gives them specific instructions yes, right. about how to minister. Mm. So there are ways to minister mm. and there are ways not to minister, not to therefore. Minister. Mm. If mm. you need instructions about mm. how to do something, mm. that means that there is a way of doing something. Mm. Um, therefore, you, should, you have to stick to that. Mm. Now, if somebody goes astray from that, God is gracious and mm. kind. That's right. And... and helps people to stay on the path but mm. like you say mm. he is a righteous mm. father father 
and and he has to bring about mm. compliance with That's his own right. word amen because amen. He watches over his word, mm. and he can't go against his word. That's right. And and he gave this guy here um, ample warning. Mm. Um, he didn't take it, mm. therefore he attacked. That's right. And and we 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 are uh, um, you know sharing this. We'll be coming to a close very soon because there's a good ending, isn't it? Oh well, yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes. There's a good ending. Yeah. You know, but we we are discussing these things, Tijani. You and I. We are, you know, we are servants of God, uh, ordained of Him, and uh, to um, to you know, as custodians of His kingdom on 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 this earth, uh, we are not as powerful as King Nebuchadnezzar, but we are in those you know positions. We, oh, have, yeah. we have souls that we are we are looking, you know, after, and and you know, it, it it brings this brings us to a place of humility when you think about it. That God is no respecter of human beings. God is no respecter of human beings. He, he, his, um, uh, uh, his judgments are fair unto all. Yes. You know, and, uh, but you can see this humiliation was quite chronicle and, and magnified because he is the king. Yes. And, uh, you know, uh, to whom much is given... Much, much is required. Much is required. So we, there are things we can learn as servants of God as well from, from this. That God, when He gives us an opportunity, once we have strayed, He's not pleased with certain things in our lives, and we, we, we know, and He has spoken to us. It's important that we make right. Mm. We make right. You know. Uh, you know because uh, you know he, he is. We know what is coming. Yes, that's right. Mm. Yeah, I mean, there's a warning in James, um, which says, "Don't don't let many of you be teachers." Yes, because, because your judgment starts with you. Is is stricter? Yeah, with you. You know, your judgment is going to be tighter. That's right. Than somebody else's. That's right. So you got to walk mm -hmm. in a more circumspect way. You've got to act That's in right. a more. Yeah. Uh, you've got to be. Uh, uh, um, You've got to be more conscious That's right. of mm. things that are to do with righteousness, mm. Mm. to do with, uh, I don't know, to do with holiness That's right. uh, and relationship with God. You, mm. You've got to um, have a tighter game. I don't That's know right. mm. uh, the phrase I'm looking for here, that uh, you've got to up your game mm. uh, compared with uh, others. That's right. Because of the responsibility you carry. Mm. Because you're a representative mm. and a servant of the Most High. That's right. Now this guy here, uh, all people in, in positions of leadership, mm. they have this thing, uh, and I mean most people don't understand this, especially in, uh, in, in the world of business, finance, uh, you mm. can call it the secular world, they don't understand what Jesus said about servanthood. That's right. He... Who wants to be the greatest must be the servant, mm -hmm. and he came uh, as as the uh, he who was the highest. That's right. Became the servant of all. Servant of all. Mm. So, so the thing about people in, in 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 leadership positions, they have to understand that they are servants. Yes, right. And this guy here mm. didn't, didn't, because. We have this great boast of his yeah. that, that immediately mm. was followed by the voice from on high. <laughs> so, uh -uh. Yes, <laughs> this is. You think this? You think you've done this? Yeah. This is going to be stripped away. From exactly. You, word for word. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to come upon you. That's right. And then, and then, just you know, as we wind up this, in verse thirty-four, he says, "And at the end, yeah, at the, at end, the end, at the end, yeah." I, Nebuchadnezzar, lifted yeah. up mine eyes unto heaven, and my understanding returned yes. unto me, yeah. and I blessed the Most High, yeah. and see, I praised see, and yes. honored him, that he lived forever, yeah. whose dominion is an everlasting dominion, and his kingdom is from generation to generation. Let me just read to the 35 as well. Yeah. And all the inhabitants of the earth are repeated as nothing. And he doeth according to his will in the army of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth. And none can stay his hand or say unto him, What doeth 
thou. And then verse 6, he goes on to say, At the same time, my reason retained unto me, and for the glory of my kingdom, mine honor and brightness retained unto me, and my counselors and my lords sought unto me, and I was established in my kingdom, and the excellent majesty was added unto me. Yeah. <laughs> and then he says, he says, he says in verse 37 here, mm. Now yes. I, mm. Nebuchadnezzar, yeah. praise and, and extol and honor, honor the, the King, King of, of heaven. heaven. For all his, his works, works are right. Mm. See, he's acknowledging what has happened to him yes. was something that was right. That's right. All his works were right, <laughs> and his ways are just. Mm. And those who walk in pride, he mm. is able to humble. Mm. See, mm. he's learnt yes. what he needed to learn. Exactly. All mm. who walk in pride, he mm. is able. That's right. In this purpose mm. that he, he, he brought him to this experience mm. has worked. That's right. Because he realised mm. he realized mm. that he was walking in mm. pride and he was humbled. Mm. But, uh, he, but now he... He, he knows mm, about right. this God. This God is most high. Because he says it in verse 34. Mm. At the end of days, I, Nebuchadnezzar, lifted my eyes to heaven mm. and my reason returned to me. And I mm. blessed mm. the most high. Mm. I blessed the most mm. high. That's right. He, he's not saying I blessed my God. Because right. remember mm. he, he, what he was saying about... Mm. Um, uh, about uh, uh, about um, uh, belt uh, about um, uh, in verse eight about uh, the, Daniel Daniel the, the, um, the, the chief master who is Belshazzar mm. this the name after his his god yes right he's not he's not calling I bless Belshazzar mm. Mm. he's not calling he's not saying I belt I bless Belshazzar mm. he's saying I bless the Most High. So now he knows mm. the Most High, High God firsthand. Yes. He's not had this uh, the second-hand uh, observational experience mm. of right. God. That's right. Like he did before mm. in the mm. first three chapters. He's seen things mm. Mm. that have happened to other people, mm. real experiences. Mm. Now he's had a first-hand right. experience mm. of the Most High. That's right. And, and isn't that what we all need? Yes. We all need That's right. to know That's right. that God is, is most mm, high. Mm. Absolutely. There are lessons that Abzukatneza has had to learn now. Yeah. That there's only the one God. Yeah. And he's the one who promotes. Yes. And he's the one who brings down. Yes. And that everything that we ever have, when we are up there, is not of our own making. It all comes from Him. That's right. And we are answerable to Him. Yes. If we don't look after it properly, if we don't manage people properly, if we, you know, we, you know, He will bring us down. Yeah. And and He says, and He says there in 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 this uh, the, the 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 last part of verse mm -hmm. thirty five, um, and who can say to Him, what have you done? Yes. Nobody can question. Question. God. Can, can we imagine? This is Nebuchadnezzar. He's been brought to that point where he says this. Yeah. Who can question God? Yeah. Who can say, <laughs> why have you done this? He has gone uh, from pride yes. to humility. That's right. Uh, it's been an awful process for him. Yes. But it was needed. Yes. That's and right. his ways are changed. That's changed. And he is now, he is now, he now has this revelation mm. Uh, because you see this in the in these these uh, these two verses mm. thirty four mm. and thirty five, his dominion is mm. an everlasting mm. dominion. Mm. Mm. He makes these confessions, mm. uh, and, and the, he 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 says that all he says all these things mm. about God. He didn't know this before. That's right. Mm. He now has a personal That's revelation right. yes. of mm. the Most High, and he can now mm. say mm. that he knows the Most High mm. because right. he knows these characteristics of the mm. most high mm. personally mm. they're personally, not second uh, right. observational mm. things these are now mm. ex experienced things because mm. he's had his kingdom restored right. to him his mm. sanity is restored to mm. him mm. His, his dominion everything's been restored mm. to him and 
also mm. he knows now mm. the most high that's right and and one thing i i also want to say here to to to, to us you know listeners is that you know th there is some evidence in there that during these 12 months when Nebuchadnezzar was going through this awful time that something that happened to his attitude his humility and because we can see as he begins to write he says I Nebuchadnezzar after this period I came to my senses I realized and this speaks of the grace of God you know the grace of God enables a person if during that time of judgment we can humble ourselves before God there is sufficient grace God is always gracious is gracious before when he's warning us is gracious during the time of judgment and is gracious after his grace is sufficient through and through it was the grace of God that enables Nebuchadnezzar to get to this place and that grace is sufficient to each and every one of us yes and that um, that whole process mm. was for the benefit Exactly. of the people that he ruled exactly because exactly. this man was a powerful exactly. and highly mm. exalted mm. man mm. and god wanted mm. him to rule mm. and reign in, mm. in in a way that was mm. acceptable that's right and not harmful mm. that he would exert mercy mm. and uh, that he would rule righteously exactly um so he, so god has mm. to deal with mm. us that's right God has to mm. deal with us to bring us to an understanding of his ways mm. because he confesses there that his works are right and his ways are just. Amen. And that ways and 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 uh, and works that is all grace. Mm. Because mm. God mm. only works mm. with grace. God only God's ways are just with grace. That's it's right. all about grace mm. with God. Mm. It's all about the grace of God. Yeah. Amen. And, uh, you know, uh, if we humble, we come out of our pride, the Lord's grace will be sufficient. As gracious as God is, we need to have an attitude. We need to have uh, 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 an attitude that enables the grace of God to work in our lives. And as Nekap Neza came to realize as well, in the end, I think probably Jandi would have then said, well, that was all for my good. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, Apostle. Just like, yeah. um, just like Joseph realized uh, right at the end of it all when his, yeah. um, when his brothers came to present themselves and, and they, mm. were, they were terrified of him and everything. And he, he was able to say, God meant it for good. God meant it for good. Uh, all the hardship that he'd suffered, yeah, yeah. God meant, yeah. meant it for good. For good. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have, I, 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 uh, there's this statement here by, I don't know if you know this uh, proverb writer, Benjamin Franklin. And, and that's, this is what he said. <laughs> he said, the greatest monarchy on the proudest throne is obliged to sit upon his own rear end <laughs> <laughs> i guess that sums up yes that's it never goodness <laughs> yes experience. this whole thing <laughs> this whole thing yes <laughs> because at the end of the day the most high is the most high, the most high. and flesh is flesh and flesh is yes, flesh even, you're, a, you're even a king <laughs> has to sit on his own rear end <laughs> Fantastic. praise god oh, praise god. god know therefore this day and consider it in thy heart that the lord he is god, god. In heaven and above, and upon the earth beneath. Mm. There is no other God apart yeah. from him. He is the most high, the majest one, and the sovereign God. Yeah. But he's all good for us. Praise the Lord. Amen. And if you don't know him, he is there for you mm. to experience as the most high God. Mm. And if, you're, if your heart is full of other gods, mm. know this that they are not God, mm. that there is the Most High God, and He is there 
for you to seek. And if you seek him, he will be found by you. Amen. That is his promise in his holy word. Mm. Seek the Lord and you will find him. Amen. So, that's Praise been uh, this wow. uh, discussion. <laughs> I, I feel that was fantastic. Oh, that was great. Really I've enjoyed, enjoyed, enjoyed this chapter. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That's been great. That's been <laughs> well, thank you for joining us. And uh, we're looking forward uh, to your company again next time in the studio. And from me and teacher Andy, God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Amen.